Hi guys! Sometimes we may have to add devices to another location. And we just have to pull a cable line from your main network and connect it to whatever you have to add your device. However, if the installation distance is beyond 100 meters, that's about 300 feet, it might become a challenge thing to do. Because we all know the PoE technology has a limitation of 328 feet, which is about 100 meter. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the simplest way to extend your power and data and add devices over 100 meters and even up to 300 meters. And if you find this video valuable, please help us and support us spread the word by liking and subscribing. Also, share it with your friends and family who might benefit from our video. So I mentioned that the PoE technology has a limitation of 328 feet, which is about 100 meter. So PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows electrical power transmitted along with data through a single Ethernet cable. So why does it have a distance limitation? Actually, it is mainly determined by the voltage drop and cable length. Since the electrical power transmitted through the Ethernet cable, so you may experience voltage drop due to the cable's resistance. In another word, the longer cable you have, the greater resistance you get, which might eventually lead to a higher voltage drop. That's why we need some extension tool to extend our power and signal. Now, those are PoE extender. And today, I'm going to show you two ways to extend our PoE technology. First is the most common way. And the second one is a pretty special way to extend up to 300 meter. Now let's go over to the board and start our connection. So here we are in front of the board. We are doing method one first. So let's take a look what we have. Here we have the main router, a PoE switch to provide power and data to our edge device. This is an NVR and a monitor. There for later use after we connect it with the PoE enabled camera at the edge. So here I have 100 meter Cat6 Ethernet cable and another 100 meter Cat6 Ethernet cable. And I'm going to use the PoE extender today to connect both cable together. Now, the PoE extender works by receiving power and data through Ethernet cable from the power source and regenerating and transmitting the signal to another Ethernet cable that connected to our PoE power device. That means the PoE extender will work as a middleman and then amplify the signal and retransmit to our PoE edge device. Without saying, let's do the connection from the beginning. You can see I already connected the router with the NVR to have the image later. And now I'm going to connect the router with my PoE switch to provide data. And then using the Ethernet cable with the PoE switch. Now the PoE switch will provide both power and data through this single Ethernet cable. And let's plug it in with our PoE extender. Now, this PoE extender has input port at A and output port at B. Make sure you plug into the right one, input port for the, for the power source. Let's plug it in A port here and fasten up the gland and the neck for waterproof results. This is B, which is the output port. Let's connect it with another Ethernet cable. So we can connect the cable with the edge device. Okay, let's stick it on here and move on to our camera. Now, it doesn't require any external power source, only one Ethernet cable to plug it in and see if it works.
This is a zoom camera, so it might take a little bit time. Now you can see the camera is on. It needs a little time to zoom in, but you can see I'm waving my hand here. This is a live video. And all we need is a PoE extender to extend for another 100 meter. And since this is IP67 waterproof, you can bury it under the ground. Now this is the most common way, which is the method one. Now I'm going to show you the method two. The method two can extend up to 300 feet by using two PoE extender. So for method two, the distance will add up to 300 meters. That's why I need to add another PoE extender. So I have two in total. Wait, but are you thinking, is it similar to the method one? Because I have two 100 meter ethernet cable and one extender in between. Now I'm going to add an, an other extender and add an other 100 meter ethernet cable. But no, because in this case, we have to bury two PoE extender under the ground and we will have three separate ethernet cable. So special, the method two is very special because we don't need that much ethernet cable in separately. We only need one big row of 300 meter ethernet cable. And we are going to add the PoE extender at both ends. So you don't have to bury them under the ground. So there's a special trick. Now let's do the connection together. First, we are going to connect our PoE extender with the PoE switch. But wait, remember, in method one, I put input port here with the PoE switch and output port for the ethernet cable. But in this case, we have to turn it around. Now we are going to connect the B port, which is the output port with our PoE switch. This is the output port. I'm going to connect it with the PoE switch. And then using the Ethernet cable to connect with the input port, which is the A port here. Okay, so I already plugged it in. Now let's come over here. This is a very big and heavy row of 300 Ethernet cable. And on this side, we are going to put the input port, which is A with the ethernet cable so input with input and then using the output port for our ethernet for our ip camera using a short patch cord here here we go and i'm not adding the neck and the gland for faster installation now the camera should be up in a second so let's give it a minute because this is a zoom in camera, so it takes a little bit time to zoom in. But I will show you this is a live video, right? So you can see I already connected the camera with the PoE switch using a 300 Ethernet cable. And there's no extender required in the middle because they are all by the side. You can put it as close as you can with the devices at both ends. Isn't it pretty handy? So I already used two methods to extend the PoE distance using this PoE extender. Now this is a PoE extender to provide up to 60 watts of power and also it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT and BT. It can support 10 to 100 megabit per second data transmission. But there are always different PoE extender you can choose from. For example, I have here this is a one in two out PoE extender. That means you can extend your distance for over one devices up to two devices. This is IEEE 802.3 BT standard. And also it can have input of 90 watts and 30 watts for each output port. Now the speed of the data transmission is up to 1000 megabit per second for this PoE extender. 
and here I have another this is a 90 watt PoE extender also but you can see it's all metal because it can provide up to 60 watts of power for the output port and it's completely waterproof IP67 for all PoE extender they can all work under minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees and this also can provide up to 10 to 1000 megabit per second now those are all the PLE extension tool that we have and thank you so much for watching us today and I'll see you next time